everybody, it's Honest John again. From the first day that Hillary Clinton appeared on the scene, the Republicans ran a smear campaign against her. Rumors, conspiracy theories, outright lies were spread high and low. When she became Secretary of State and they seized control of the Congress, she was being constantly investigated. But despite those years of investigations, the Republicans were never able to find any wrongdoing. But the smear campaign worked, especially with the idiots on the left. They couldn't tell you exactly why, but they hated and despised her. And they still do. But regardless of how anybody might feel about her, Think about how different things would be if she had been elected president. Our alliances would still be strong. The United States would still be the leader of the free world. Our stature and influence would be intact. And we wouldn't be the laughing stock of the world. And if you don't believe that, you can go online and listen to Europe's leaders laughing about how dumb Trump is. And Hillary would have listened to the health experts and the intelligence community when it came to the coronavirus. She wouldn't have disbanded the White House Pandemic Office, which was created to deal with this kind of situation exactly. She wouldn't have gone on Fox News claiming it was a hoax. She wouldn't have told people that it was nothing to worry about. She wouldn't have told people to go to work even if they had symptoms of it. She would have told the truth, not the lies that Donald Trump's been telling. She would have taken steps to contain the spread of the virus. We probably would have gone on lockdown quite a bit sooner, but it would have been a lot shorter. And when our hospitals, well, for one thing, our hospitals would have been supplied with more protective equipment. And if they started running out, she would have moved heaven and earth to make sure that our doctors and nurses got what they needed. Not like Trump, who abandoned them. And she wouldn't have wasted time getting in pissing contests with the nation's governors just because they were asking for help that he wasn't supplying. She would have recognized that problems were happening and she would have worked to fix them. And she wouldn't have sabotaged the Affordable Care Act either. So millions of Americans that Trump took health care away from would have it now. As a result, far fewer Americans would have died. Donald Trump is responsible for the thousands of deaths that have already occurred and will occur in the coming weeks and months. Those people would be alive if Donald Trump were not president. But it isn't just Trump who has the guilt for that. Everybody who voted for him, they share that guilt. And everybody who voted for a protest candidate or stayed home or handed, and handed the country over to Trump, you share the guilt too. Well, America, you made your choice. Now you're going to have to live with it and die with it. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for stopping by and watching my videos. I do appreciate it and I appreciate your comments and your support. 
Uh, and I don't know where you're watching my videos. Could be on here on YouTube or on my blog or on Patreon. Uh, let me just say this. Uh, ever since Google took over YouTube, they've made some really bad decisions that have been very unfriendly to smaller channels like me. Uh, I've res I had over 85,000 views of my videos on YouTube and yet they still won't let me monetize my videos. So if you want to support me, Patreon is the place. But wherever you watch, uh, YouTube, Google, uh, Patreon, my blog, I appreciate your comments and, and your support. But YouTube sucks.